Hello. Today we are going to learn about electricity. Electricity is a very strange substance. We can't see it, can't see it. We can't put it in a box. But it is going to help us do wonderful things. Electricity will transform the 20th century. It will bring peace to our planet, prosperity to America, and eventually flying cars and ships to carry us to the outer reaches of space. Hello. I am Dr. Herbert Smitheron, electricity expert. Today I'm going to teach you all you need to know about electricity. So, so pay close attention. This will be the most important lesson you will ever learn. We create electricity by burning such fuels, such fuels as oil and gas and coal. This is coal. <laughs> These materials are plentiful and they are cheap and abundant and very easy to mine right here in America. As you, can see, as you can see from this diagram, when we burn these fuels, the energy created heats the water that is then turned into hot steam. See, heated water and then the hot steam. Now, we pipe the hot steam into special machines we call generators. These generators are made of sophisticated metals and magnets. When steam powers a generator, electricity is created and right out the other end, as you can see here. When you connect a light bulb to a generator, it will make the bulb burn, glow. A single generator can make thousands of bulbs burn, possibly an entire city. <laughs> this is the magic of electricity. There are some crazy scientists out there that think we can utilize the power of the atom to create electricity. Me? <laughs> I say insane. Why bother when we have plenty of fuel we can burn? Okay. Now, we have learned how to generate electricity. Now, the next question, how do we use it in our home? Well, well, as I said at the top of the lesson, we can't put electricity in a box or carry it home. So, we have to transport electricity using the invention called copper wire. Think of this copper wire as uh, the pipe, pipes that uh, carry electricity like water to your home. Except with electricity, wires carry what we call electrons from the generator to the bulb. This area right here, the generator to the, this would be a copper wire, you see. Of course, if you think about it, there will be times when you won't want to have the lights on. For example, when you go to sleep at night. At night. Well, for this purpose, scientists have created an invention we call the switch. Now, you can put a switch just before you connect the wire to the light bulb, and you can turn off the switch any any time you want. Think of this switch as uh, like a faucet on a plumbing system. Oh yes, these switches are indeed wonderful inventions. But if you ask me, it's a complete waste of money. As electricity is so cheap, we might as well have it on all the, all the time. Again, some crazy people suggest we should measure electricity, so those who use more should pay more. <laughs> uh, why? Why bother? Why bother? I feel it's completely unnecessary, and the entire scientific community backs me up. Face it, electricity is simply too cheap to meter. For the eyes of the world. In today's digital world, there is one resource that has become a most precious commodity, energy. In particular, electricity. If we look around at our life today, digital devices are surrounding us, from laptops to iPods, high definition TVs and GPS navigation systems, and sophisticated equipment for business and industry. We use these every hour of every day. Our very existence within the indoor environments of our homes, workplaces, and gathering places also depend heavily on electricity. Environmental control, lighting, security systems, vertical transportation, signage, point of sales equipment, and many more. These are things we cannot do without today. Hi, I'm Jason Smitheron, grandson of Dr. Herbert Smitheron, and I'm following my grandfather's work on electricity. Today, we will look at the future of electricity in the 21st century. Electricity is no longer a nice to have luxury. Electricity today is the backbone of life, where its absence or lack of reliability impacts us in profound ways. 
Electricity is a most unique product. It is produced, delivered across the country, and consumed within milliseconds in real time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It is not currently practical to store electricity in any economical way. So enough capacity must exist to satisfy even the highest amount of demand. Basic economics of supply and demand tell us that during peak periods where demand is high, the value of this most precious commodity increases. It is not practical for us to simply build more generating capacity to meet demand. Building power plants takes time and is often difficult due to environmental and location reasons. Added to this are that plants are often built far away from the population that needs the electricity. Building transmission lines is also time consuming, expensive, and difficult for the same reasons. A new dawn is emerging in the 21st century. A need to create a smart and intelligent electricity system, or what we call smart grid. Why is this important? Why does the grid have to be smart? Because in today's world, we must be able to adapt. It must be able to smoothly reduce loads when energy becomes scarce and expensive. It must be able to predict when problems will occur and take action to prevent them. It must be able to recover from the emergencies that can affect larger areas than ever before. And it must be able to balance generation from a variety of new sources. Technologies to automatically reduce power consumption at peak times are evolving and being deployed. These so-called demand response approaches intelligently turns off consuming devices when the utilities indicate the system's approaching peak loads. Smart Grid makes true automated demand response possible. The benefits of Smart Grid are numerous. Consumers will enjoy significant cost reductions, greater reliability and availability, while societal benefits include slowing or reversing climate change trends. The electricity system of the future will look more like the internet than its 20th century predecessor. An energy information network will make the electric grid self-regulating, self-healing, and increasingly effective, and it will provide consumers with appropriate levels of service and cost. While smart grids seems like an abstract concept, it is the future. Think of this next time you switch on the light.